looking through my calendar uh, to work out how much leave I could take this year. And so far this year, I have taken two days of leave and it's August in like a week's time. That's, that's not good. And the reason I'm taking leave is because my sister and her family and my family, we've been trying to find time where we can, we can catch up. Um, and we wanted to obviously go to Wales, because where else would you go? So we're in Pembrokeshire again. We're staying near Saundersfoot. This is Saundersfoot. Boysons Bridge is that way. Um, Tenby is that way. Tenby is famous. Great bit of coastline. These are the less wild parts of Pembrokeshire. These are the, the, the places everybody goes to on holiday. These are the beaches with the towns and the things to do. And So I'm taking two days off. <laughs> I'm having a long weekend. And I'm going to have some big breaks this summer. It's not good not taking breaks from work because even though, I mean, you know I like my job, but I haven't taken much time off because there has been a huge amount of work to do this year. Uh, we've come out of COVID, we've got more students than ever before. We've been rewriting all of the teaching every week and it's just been this non-stop grind. And it does, it, it winds you down even when you love your job. Just that non-stop grind, 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 not having a break. And I was, honestly, I was getting sick of it. I was getting tired of my job and thinking maybe it's time for me to finish. And yet, just this week, I finished teaching on Monday, just this week, having a few easy days and starting to put next year's teaching in place on the calendar. I'm already looking forward to the new intake of students. It's weird, isn't it? So you've got to take a break. Stan here. I play Minecraft with Stan every week. Stan gets very excited about the fact that I make vlogs. You know what I mean? Vlogs, kids, it's like, it's like a not real world thing, huh? Well, rock lice, yeah, sure, rock lice totally eats through the rocks and they make rock lice tunnels and yeah, yeah. And then all the rocks come crashing down. That's how it works, yeah, totally. It's too slippery. You're gonna go in the water there. Yeah, serious crabbing. That's how you crab. A fun variation on crabbing is GoPro crabbing. Always carry some paracord, tie it to your GoPro. And you don't even have to pull the crabs up. You can actually see the crabs in their semi-natural environment. I mean, you put some bait in there so you muck things up.
go through that as kids all the time. Wasn't quite so fancy. Didn't have his guard rail either. It was more like the Death Star back then. Yeah. Oh. Oh. If now I haven't it. It was a fishing hook. No wonder it's so hard to find. All that. Needle in a haystack, quite literally. Yeah. Hooking a sand it took pit. Like 20 minutes. <laughs> well found. Yeah, it's a good find though, because it was a really diddy bit of. Honed your skills. Yeah, home just go, May, can you put that in your bucket, darling? You don't want anyone yeah. to tread on that. She didn't bring any snorkeling stuff because it, it's just too close. <laughs> we are rock hopping in the water. Too cloudy. for a path that's listed on the Ordnance Survey map. I'm doing a really bad job of not having a lot of that. Brilliant, it exists. Oh. Um, so I nipped out of the house early this morning before the kids got up so I could have a nice little quiet run. Looked on the Ordnance Survey map, found lots of little footpaths. I understand that sometimes footpaths aren't really footpaths and they've kind of overgrown or farmers have ignored them and there's no signs and stuff. But this is... This, <laughs> that's, that's three paths I've gone to explore this morning and none of them have actually existed. <laughs> that is a faded bridal path sign. Uh, looks likely though. Uh, I've, I've found a bridal path. It's actually still tarmac. It's not the one I was looking for, but it's away from traffic. Par partial success. Oh yeah, that's more like it. Mud. Private. But we can still go down it. Well, that's the way of all footpaths and bridal paths anyway. They're always going through somebody's land. That's how Britain works. Somebody owns everything. Um, but it's a path. Uh, this is what you get with exploring. Ah, oh, look, see. This is getting better all the time. Right, let's make the trains. No trains. Bathtub. Well, it hasn't been a failure, it's been taking a few days off with family and just having time to chill out and not worry about anything. Because even when I, well, I guess this is why I haven't taken much time off, it's because I've got so much work to do that I have to work twice as hard to get stuff done so I can take time off. Um, and then I have to worry about the stuff I'm going back to. Whereas because we've almost finished the year, I don't have much to worry about. I have to worry about what I'm going back to. I'm going back to an exam board, by the way. But I'm not worried about that. That's fine. Other people have got to do most of the work for that. But ah, I'm now enthusiastic about my job again. And looking forward to teaching you lot a load of new anatomy in the future. <laughs> <laughs>